with the cameras if you like, but that's up to you. I'm 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 paying attention. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's got it. He's got it. God, so it's micromanaging already. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> welcome to my life. <laughs> Connor, I already miss you. <laughs> Jesus. Damn it. Connor, I, I feel I bad <laughs> for you. <laughs> we don't have this problem. <laughs> that's oh, the thing. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, he bottles it up and takes it home. The baby <laughs> understands. He's like, he's traumatized. That's all right. What it is. Shut up. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. So, joined by two different people today. Hi. <laughs> Our uh, resident. Uh, political expert, <laughs> Miss uh, Jamie hardly. Wilcox, and uh, con man's not here on the ones and twos, so it's uh, brother Luke. Brother Luke, sounds, <laughs> sounds too religious. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't fit it. I don't you, fit it. Uh, <laughs> you got a Jesus I, haircut, but go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're sticking to politics but tonight, not ginger. religion. Yeah, I okay. would say yeah. Not accepted. He's ginger Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Let's get started. Okay. Welcome to the recall edition. Woohoo! Vote red. <laughs> <laughs> the hell. All right. So, starting with the the recall. Actually, all we're talking about. <clears throat> yep. Uh, Governor Newsom oh, is yes. on on the chopping block for a recall. Um. Lots of uh, talk going on before about this. Obviously, we had to have people, had to have enough signatures to get this into a vote. Uh, we made that happen. Uh, there's an awful lot of people very confident that he will be recalled. Uh, before we get too in-depth, uh, what's your thoughts on on the recall in general? Um, I was kidding about voting red. I don't really care if you vote red or blue, but you do need to vote yes on this recall because in my opinion, he is not a governor for either. I mean, where he's just, he just needs to go. He's shit. He's shit. He's shit. He's a, he's a politician. He is a career politician mm. and not a fan, not a fan. No. So I personally don't care. Vote whatever you want to vote, but get him out. What if you want to vote for him? No, vote yes on the recall. <laughs> that's not an option. Just right. kidding. It is an option, guys. So that's guess actually what we do have options. We have choices. Yeah, we're <laughs> we've proven as Californians to suck at those options, though. So just at times, FYI. So uh, everybody should have got their voter information guide if you were registered. These things should have came in the mail. Several uh, weeks ago. The California Gubernational <laughs> recall election. Notor notorious. I really like that they use Gubernational. <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> I'm sure that means something, obviously, that I don't know, but I just like the word. I think it's like, I thought it was also spelled G-O-O-B-E-R, <laughs> but that's just me. Goofy goobers, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so everybody got these things. Um, also, if you're not registered to vote, you get registered. They ship you your stuff just like uh, Brother Luke is now your <laughs> what's your DJ name. <laughs> he, he comes back to California from Denver. Are you registered? Yeah. You registered to vote in California? Yeah, a long time ago. But yeah. But are you so? Are you still? I don't know. It was uh, it was back in uh, Obama time. So uh, that was whenever I registered. Oh, you never registered in uh, Denver. When I you never were registered there? in Denver. See, this is why there's fraud. Why? You. Because why would I need to register? I didn't care much about Denver. I, wasn't, uh, I knew I wasn't going to be there. You can't long. vote in California when you don't live there. Well, I well I wasn't voting while I was in Denver. I voted while I was in California. Voter fraud. Voter fraud. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. It's not about me. Did, so did you get, <laughs> did you get these things? No, I oh, mean, maybe, well, maybe because the mailbox is broken. So uh, postal service is doing a uh, great job. Oh, that's geez. a whole nother story. <laughs> okay, that's so another I was, podcast. I was just going to talk about like how <laughs> everybody should calm down about mail-in ballots and you're making a horrible fucking case for it. But well, I mean, that's the truth. I'm telling you what's right. going on. Anyways, everybody should calm down about mail-in ballots. Ballots. I keep saying ballots, well, but vote ballots. 
<laughs> it, you, it's not that big a deal. Like everybody, it, it's like we've be, done it forever. They're gonna steal the election, you know, just no like Biden did. What? He didn't. Like, shut up. And also, which that we'll get to right now is this is all being blamed. The recall is being blamed on Trump supporters that it's driven by the maniacs that stormed the Capitol and took selfies on the podium. Oh, I know. Have you guys heard that commercial? It was an amazing <laughs> revolution. I'm just saying like that's what that's was the commercial? I can't. Now I'm not going to be able to say it like, but it's basically <laughs> Did you want like us to say, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I was hoping that everybody knows what commercial there's a commercial on the it's radio right here. It just like it's and it's like, <laughs> Trump supporters have stole, or they're trying to, what is the wording they use? Jeez, I don't know. Oh, they're even trying know. to steal the. They're trying to steal the, st- or. The recall. Yeah, that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And like. It was like major. And the na- and by the nationalists that stormed the Capitol. And it's a. Uh, they show the guy with a buffalo a, head? <laughs> no, it's on the radio. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> it's on the radio? Yeah. This, this, is, this is the radio. <gasps> Me, I know. Aggressives don't. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Did you listen to like Rush Limbaugh afterwards too? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty close. He's dead, you asshole. Uh, old oh. tapes, okay? okay? You can listen to old tapes. Okay? I get it. It's a recording. It's remember? syndicated. Yeah. <laughs> Rude. So maybe some people should go back to doing that. So anyway, <laughs> to dying? No, not dying. Oh. To listen to the radio. Oh. <laughs> Too yeah. many opinions out there these days. They're like easily accessible. Yeah. This, this whole show. Let's just narrow it down opinions. to one opinion. <laughs> Mine. On the fucking radio. <laughs> so just one guy telling one us guy. what to think. One guy. The rest of us sitting just, around a fire these, smoking um, pipes. Can it be one guy with multiple personalities, though? It should be. Yeah, I think that's how it should be. One oh, yeah. guy, multiple personalities. He oh argues with himself gosh. about it. There you go. It's like me in the shower. <laughs> that's good. So, voting options. You have mail-in, which uh, if you're all registered in uh, Tulare County or whatever other county you're in here in California, you should be getting that in the mail. You should have already gotten it in the mail. Weeks ago. You can fill it out and drop it off. You can put it right back in the mailbox at the post office, or you can take it to the voting uh, places where the polls are open, and you can drop it in there yourself, which is usually what I do. I fill it out because I don't, I don't like lines. So, like, I would normally just drop it in the mail, but I feel like I'm going to go to the place where everybody's voting and throw it in that Yeah, mailbox. I do the same thing. Just because I feel like that's... I kind of half-assed both things. D- wasn't it during the presidential election that we watched that they never picked up the ballots from the one drop mailbox? The one by City Hall? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not to throw anybody under the bus, but yes, by the Exeter City Hall, those ballots never got picked up. That's oh, awesome. man. Exeter, <laughs> it's Exeter's fault we didn't get Trump back. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Exeter. There's, it's Exeter's fault we got the fucking gas tax, probably. Which... It's another thing about voting, but whatever, I'll get to that. So also, you can drop it in the mail, you can drop it off, or you can go to the polling places and vote on the day of, which is September 14th, uh, between 7 and 8, 7 a.m., 8 p.m. So those are the ways to vote. Now, let's talk about what you're going to be voting on. First of all, most likely there are two votes for most people. If you're wanting Governor Newsom to not be recalled and you want him to continue fucking things up i mean being the governor yeah you vote no that's it you vote no that so keeps him in office keep a stylish governor he's pretty stylish he looks like the guy on the billboard on the he's highway nice 99 <laughs> it's like holding the phone he's like accident not day. a fan <laughs> not a fan he's a used car salesman bro yeah i mean he's the, greasy the, as fuck they're, they're interesting characters they are interesting characters yeah. if you it, look at like books and stuff they're interesting characters we don't need time. interesting characters making decisions like this but we want trump i don't <laughs> it's like somebody <laughs> somebody did i was i mean like a lot of people, people did yeah Jeez. i do miss him on twitter yeah, yeah, i will say that interesting people cnn misses him so if you want him to stay in vote no what i see happening too is a bunch of dum-dums are going to vote no and then still pick a name at the box down below <laughs> which i think makes your ballot like <laughs> invalid so like, for you dum-dums, don't do that. Like, just, if you want him in, circle no, click no, whatever. And then, uh, <laughs> but if you want him out, you have to vote yes. This is also, the other dum-dums are going to mess it up and not put anything in the first vote mm-hmm. and pick a name. It doesn't work that way. You have to hit both. 
This is like why we do standardized testing in the state, which is total bullshit. But at least you know how to fill out bubbles. Yeah. Right. Like that's. I mean, you should because you've been doing standardized testing in the state of California for I don't know. Well, if you're our age, forty. 50, down everybody's 40 been doing years. it. 30 years? Did standardized know. testing start with us? Our parents didn't do it. True, but I mean, I'm sure that, like. They, it was probably somewhere, if you were born in 1980 on, I'm yeah. pretty sure you were in standardized testing at some form or another. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say 75. Okay. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> we'll look it up afterwards. <laughs> standardized we'll testing. T- Fill in the <laughs> bubbles. Blue or black ink only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that what it says? Yes. Oh, it does say yes. that. Oh, shit. Blue or black? What? I did mine in red. Because um, America. Oh. Uh, all together. Trash. All, all in one. Yeah. <laughs> I fill my bubbles out so they say things. Yeah. It fills out. Every bubble is an American flag. It says, mm-hmm. fuck you. We take our voting serious over here. <laughs> should we move on just to the names or should we go over uh, this? Well, let's, let's just do the real <laughs> quick. Uh, well, we don't have to read it necessarily, but let's uh, go over the the proponent statement for the reasons for the recall, and then also the governor's answer to that oh, statement. Oh, that's fun. To sum it up, what they're saying is is that the taxes are very high. Uh, the homeless uh, issue has become so inflated; has become a major issue across the board. Um, no real solutions or. Um, Really, th- that's it. No solutions to any of the problems that we're seeing. Then, obviously, the pandemic was a big no-no for him. That was one of the big things that uh, pushed him over on this recall. Definitely was his response to uh, COVID nineteen. Mm-hmm. Your thoughts? On, okay. Uh, the well, statement. let's just. I want to point a few things out that give the reason why people are saying these are Trump supporters. These are the statements that I feel have given uh, have given reason to why people are saying these are Trump supporters that are are basically like I see leading this recall. It's because he said they say laws he endorsed to favor foreign nationals in our country illegally over that of our own citizens. Okay, which possibly possibly is the stimulus right that was given to some of the tax paying illegal aliens. Which we've discussed mm-hmm. that before, but yes. yeah, um, he has imposed sanctuary state status and fails to enforce immigration laws. Partly true, mostly true. Mostly cared by cared about by Trump supporters. Mm-hmm. Um, Strongly cared about. Yeah. So I think those two. Uh, yeah, and uh, unilaterally overruled uh, the will of people regarding the death penalty. But so that should really be, like, a thing for everybody. Like, that should be the reason why this recall goes through is just that. Like, you can't overrule the will of the people regarding the death. Oh, well, okay, regarding the death penalty. Sorry, didn't let you finish. No, okay. what I did. But but the thing is, is, like, he. it's not just that. I mean, that's the one thing I guess they can prove legally that yeah. he did where the fact that we're still arguing over his his ordinances and mandates that he put in whether those were actually lawful or not yeah. or against the constitution which most of us feel that our rights were being withheld from us mm-hmm. and at times being stripped of us yeah so regardless of them making that that very direct statement that it's towards the death penalty um i think that in, in many regards that's what he had done um, personally, I feel like his his response to COVID nineteen was initially I was I didn't know what to think because I think we were all kind of in the boat of like what what the hell is this and what's right. going on yeah um so it was kind of on board with okay let's let's do this you know and everything came from the federal government also with the fifteen days to slow the spread then there was another forty five day or you know thirty days to slow the spread on top of the fifteen. And then came the All lockdowns, the regulations, yes, and everything that that California did, and then even more so the things. And you say it all the time. It's like we shouldn't be shocked at some of these things, like, uh, well, Newsom going to a birthday dinner indoors at the French Laundry, right? When after he's telling everybody and telling us we literally cannot operate our business mm-hmm. in that capacity, do as I say, not as I do. 
And like you say, it's like, wh- why are we even shocked at that? Because that's, <laughs> we all assume that's what's happening. And there's pretty much, there's the cold hard proof that, is that, that, that it is. I'm just curious. Is that his white male privilege or we are, are we, going into are that we not talking about that? I'm just curious. That? I'm just so curious. So is it my white male privilege to keep my business open? Or I'm not, I'm, I'm talking mostly about his voter base those are their words. I'm saying Which is, is why that I think he's getting recalled. Oh, you so you've changed your because not that long ago you were on the fence. You were like, I don't know if he is or not. Oh no, I, I this is why there is. We're you think doing this is this why vote. the recall has gone through? This is why we're doing this vote. Okay, I'm on so the no. fence whether or not he was actually that he would actually be recalled. Going back to the whole French Laundry thing, good for him. Too bad for everybody else that wasn't doing what they wanted to do. Just saying. Yeah, seriously. But. At the same time, you should like just, you should have got the fuck out of the house. And shut up. <laughs> Basically. Okay. Moving on. So those are the proponents for, and to be 100% honest, yes, COVID was a big driving force in this that just kind of, that, that rallied everybody into thinking he was a fucking piece of shit. So that and Nancy Pelosi and her big freezer full of like designer ice cream and going and getting her hair done. Assholes. Sounds like jealousness. In a, a little bit of jealousy. Jealous? Can't say it. Well, we're not jealousy. jealous because we did jealousy. what we wanted to do the whole time. Yeah, but getting my hair did. Yeah, but we also weren't the ones saying don't do it. We were saying do it. You and should I be was doing it. Ben and Jerry's liberal shits still like their ice cream. Fair enough. Now the governor's answer to the statement. First of all, go ahead and read the first uh, bold. Piece there, because this is the first lie that we found. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Warning: This unwarranted recall effort will cost California taxpayers eighty-one million dollars. Eighty-one million. What the hell? The estimated <laughs> cost to administer the California gubernatorial gubernatorial recall <laughs> election uh, it would be two hundred and seventy-six million dollars. Mm. So these assholes. <laughs> they lowballed it. They short sided. They shorted themselves. They lowballed us by almost two hundred mil. <laughs> okay. So they're promising us it's going to be cheaper if we actually do this. So mm-hmm. all right, they're making a good case for it so far. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're saving two hundred million per Newsom <laughs> to get them out. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to the second sentence. It is being pushed by political extremists supporting President Trump's hateful attacks on California. Political extremist. You mean fucking voters? Voters. You mean voters. California voters. And a lot of them were. Okay. There's a lot of Democrats that signed the recall as well. Like, but yeah, anyways. So now California citizens, registered voters are political extremists. Okay. Well, so the, the, and, and throughout this, he actually mentions Trump again. You know, Get the, the agenda gone, of dividing. Yeah, like it, the fact that they're, they're just trying to play to that. But also, I mean, there's people like us that aren't, we're not the cold, hard, fast Trump supporters. But we're also like we get lumped in that because we're like, no, nah, we, we would have probably preferred the guy in this in this sense. But, mm. I, yeah, I'm kind of the same way. <laughs> but also... I don't know. It, I, I think it's ridiculous. That they, it's blaming Trump and Republicans and extremists, what they're calling extremists, which to to yeah. saying that they're they're wedging the divide, calling that shit out like that is just hammering it in too. Mm-hmm. I mean, and, and that's the part we're we're too fucking ignorant. We'll 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 dig our heels in and pick a side on this. I mean, even when you think I that the guy like might we're not be a California rival gangs, like we're yeah. we're red and blue. Well, yeah. it, we are. Yeah. We are 100%, yeah. especially in the Central Valley. I mean, because, and this is also kind of how uh, how we like to think real big on things. Like, oh, we're getting his ass out. Yeah, your vote counts. It does, absolutely. So do the, what, 2 million roughly that they got to sign the recall. There's a lot more voters than that in this state. Yeah. Now, granted, do they all go out and vote? I don't know. What I dislike is when I see, like, and I, I was really joking when I said vote red, but. Oh, I hate when I see that. that in. I am because 
I don't really care. <laughs> but I hate when I see vote blue, and I hate when I see vote red. Like, yeah. vote yeah. for what's fucking right, you assholes. Yeah, you sorry, Dad. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Dad. Yeah. Bring, bring back the, the elephant and the donkey. That's like that's what they have. They don't ever talk about it anymore. Well, they show it. Like they'll they'll show it. It's not that know? it's not like as as like loud as it used to be. Yeah. It used to be everywhere with the elephant and the donkey. Well, and also because I think uh, the, Republi- the Republican the Republican right? Party, yeah. Okay. The Republican so Party has kind of changed a little bit too. You know, I think it's kind of morphed in a couple ways, but so has the Democrat Democratic Party over the years. You know, and this is a conversation I've had uh, with Brett Thompson, like. Well before 2016 was like, you know, the South wasn't always Republican. It wasn't always red. Mm-hmm. Like that's not how this worked necessarily. And and I think we're we're kind of in that transition too, where I think politically the landscape's going to look a little different. I, I sure also would hope so. Hope that I most sure of the centrist so. would just vote their conscience and vote for put some thought into what you're doing, right? Yeah. So for for example, before we start kind of touching on the candidates, which we've got some real fucking winners. winners. <laughs> um, the thing is, is like, so, so, so for example, probably really nice people though. Uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're, we're the kind of idiots in this state that are complaining about a gas tax that we literally <laughs> voted in that. We said, yes, raise the fucking gas taxes. We want the roads fixed. Because that that's the kind of bullshit we do. Be, well, because we actually thought they were going to go towards fixing the roads. There's already <laughs> money go, going towards fixing the roads. And we've already talked. We talked that, about this. Uh, isn't, is, was that the last ga- gas tax that uh, we voted for? <laughs> I don't know. I think this one's supposed to go to the high-speed rail now. So <laughs> oh, the yes. thing is, is that we're like, oh, gas Great prices project. are so Great high. Project. This is ridiculous. We forget that in 2018, we voted that shit in. <laughs> Let's do it again. No, or was it was it 20? Whichever one it was. I think it was actually 20 that we voted in. I think in we in. voted in every, every Newsom election. got voted in in 18, so <laughs> anyways. Okay. We're idiots. <laughs> that was the point. Mm-hmm. Gas tax is so, gas price is so high. Okay, so governor's statement. As governor, Newsom is working to, one, increase oh, funding for public that. education. Yes, we are. What has he been doing for the last four years? Working just, on just, his hair. I'm just working curious. He's letting his hair if grow he's up. Still, yeah. Is he still working to increase funding for public education? Well, yeah. Uh, okay. That's are what your bond are, money does, are too. Are the teachers going to get Fired? Raised? What? Where's that? I'm just curious. Are they getting a raise? Yeah. Nah, I'd, I'd furlough their asses no, personally. No, stop it. I love our teachers. Not Two, me. are they... <laughs> To, he's still working to protect and secure California's health and health care. What is that, like free ER visits? <laughs> free COVID swabs and free Unless shots. you have insurance. Unless you have private insurance, then he's going to bill your insurance. It's really not free, just in case you guys were wondering. Can we just sum up the governor's statement, which is basically... Wait, nope, the best one. Improve water, roads, and bridges. Yeah, with taxes. It's a process, lady. He's still working on it. Duh. Do you think our next governor is going to work on it? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Think, what do you think they're going to do? Well, look at I'll tell okay. you right now. They're making promises. That's what they're going to do. And I believe I them. I think that they're just going to continue to raise our taxes so they can what? work on these things. What? Weird. That's is there crazy. anything else interesting, though, in the governor's statement? Oh, yes, there is. It's the very last line. Do not hand over your signature. Your support or your personal private information. You mean like my freaking vaccine information? Ooh. Oh, wait, we're not talking about that Good either. Good call. To the destruction, the, to this destructive recall scheme. Mm. Mm, got yeah. it. And then so there's also. Remember, he said it. Do not, do not hand over your personal private information. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Unless I get a good coupon. Right. Unless you're going to a bar, <laughs> a restaurant, a theater. I'll take a lottery ticket. Indoor <laughs> shopping. Then you need to hand over your vaccination card ASAP. So. Vote. <laughs> there's yes also the recall. another sh- page here where there's the proponent's recall argument, which I feel like that's what we just read. And then the governor's recall argument. It's pretty much the same thing. 
there's broken promises listed in here. So if you wanted to read through it, I'm very um, Native American of you to say. There's a na- oh yeah, it's a <laughs> fucking treaty, bro. <laughs> like They've all been broken. broken promises, every single one. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I can say that. <laughs> Like, it, there's things in here saying, like, oh, you're going to get $600, most qualified families. Get the hell out of here. It's all COVID broken promises. Anyways, um, I actually wrote down how many candidates there were, but I can't seem to. Aren't there only two, really? Uh, well, it depends. The ones that people are actually mm-hmm. talking about. Yeah. So the thing is, there's a lovely little write-up in here, pictures, mug shots, and a little personal write up for these folks. I tell you right now, I read through a couple of them like the first one I got to, Dennis Richter. I read the first sentence and was out, and then I read the second sentence <laughs> and I almost burned this fucking thing. <laughs> first of all, he looks like your uncle Scott. He kind of does. He does. So, Dennis Scott Richter. First sentence. We should have like a tw- like a like a twin debate. Like we should go out and find people that look like these, oh. like these candidates, and be like, "Go, all right, Re- COVID. It. What do you do?" <laughs> yeah. All right. So, anyways, Dennis was uh, raised in rural Minnesota. I'm already out, motherfucker. Ain't even from California. <laughs> like, get yeah. lost. Next sentence. Rough there, though. He knows that rough life. Shut up. <laughs> he was elected the leader of the Socialist Workers Party. Goodbye. And he's fucking communist. <laughs> so. <laughs> Goodbye. From Minnesota. Yeah. Maybe it's a different type of communist there. Yeah. <laughs> cold? <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Russians, they're cold. Yeah. We're not doing it. Uh, Brandon M. Ross, he's a Democrat. Uh, his first line, first <laughs> three, four words was, California needs a viable, moderate Democrat. And I was out. Cause was it the moderate Democrat? What what part of that sentence made I, you I out? I kind of, like, viable. When he started with California <laughs> needs viable, I was like, oh. I was like, oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so Doug O.C. Ose? O.S.? I don't know. He's a Republican. <laughs> His first line is, living in California is frustrating. Mm. Well, that's depressing, and he's got, like, a novel there, mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm not going to read it, so seems like a nice guy. It's a lovely picture. And then there's this uh, young lass, Caitlyn Jenner. Yes. Who everybody was very excited about. Very much so. Uh, until she got a microphone in front of her face, and then turned out uh, that actually might be fun. Uh, I, yeah, I think it's very fitting for California. Holy crap! Yeah, I I didn't see any of this. You didn't you didn't see her like start talking about like how she hugs cops like every time she sees, she sees a cop she's oh, gonna hug him and how that and like all her rich friends can't stand seeing all the homeless people. Yeah, and that was <laughs> a good one. She's like, I live in Brentwood. Also, oh. also. Fun fact. I have a headache. She is a murderer. Yeah, but that makes okay. you. That, 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 it was an that accident. You fit, you fit in with that. With Manslaughter. That well, all right. She, I don't even think she got charged. It was, like it was an accident. Uh, She should have. I don't. Well, she didn't. I mean, you know, if if the, the skin color was a little darker, he probably would have gone to jail for a long, long time. Also. True. So I don't disagree with that. Yeah. So it's like, regardless, he was. I think she pulled her nuts out and was like. <laughs> well, the, the gold is like, yeah. Here's my white privilege. <laughs> they Let me go. Pulled the pants down, but the gold medals are just sitting there instead. <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> they should be. It's just we uh, really need to start going over what we're going to be discussing. Well, this Kay- no, we are. Like, okay, Caitlyn Jenner is actually no, no, I mean, a like candidate. You need to start giving me a heads up when you're going to oh, say sorry. shit. Oh, sorry. Because we didn't know we were going to be talking about Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> yes, we did. What Luke's, do you mean? <laughs> I do not I didn't know. I know Lucas was going <laughs> to drink IPAs. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm not going to make okay, my Okay, moving on. <laughs> okay, Kevin Falconer. He sounds like a mob boss. He does. Falcone. Yeah. yeah, dude, straight Falconer. up Batman. <laughs> yeah, it's Batman, the yes. Falcone family. Uh, Holly L. Bade. Mm. Is it? Do you say it like that when it's two A's? B A A D E. Bade. Let me hear your Stevie Nicks voice. Bade. <laughs> 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 I love Stevie Nicks. Uh, it's Holly L. Bade. <laughs> uh, and her her uh, her mugshot actually. 
<laughs> is quite poetic. She's just kind of looking off at the in the distance. Yeah, for she's looking out into the sun. The and future. A simple the future. sentence. Well, that's what it says. Simple sentence says leadership for a brighter tomorrow. And that's yeah. where she's looking into you're a brighter not, tomorrow. You're not going to get any votes like that. Uh, honestly, Holly. I like her better than the rest of them so far. So far, we got a. You're not going to get any votes. We got like a, a TikTok saying so. You know, that's like really short and sweet. She's mm-hmm. uh, that that advertised to the TikTokers. You know. Yeah. They actually, well, so there's a few you in guys. here like that. Uh, yeah. David Alexander Bramante. Mm-hmm. He's a Republican. Got a lot to say. Heather Collins. Looks like she's a post-grad, Green Party, immigrant, small business owner. That's exactly what it says. Mm-hmm. Short and to the point. I like it. Now, yeah, I, uh, mm-hmm. now we get into the weeds because uh, James G. Hennink, no qualified party preference and no photograph submitted. But uh, he goes through a list of um, what's wrong with California, not necessarily what he's going to fix. Yeah, um, and honest. also, I don't think he's originally from California. There's a good chance. Uh, Jeff uh, Hewitt, he's a libertarian. For a while, I kind of thought I might be a libertarian, and then I listened to a few of them talk, and I don't think I'm a libertarian. I think in your old age, you're getting, you're becoming more Republican. I want to start my own party, my own political party. Mm-hmm. It's called the Get Off My Fucking Lawn Party. That's how conservative we are. I'm going to get so many days to water, don't fuck it up. All right? David Hilberg. Did we skip over Jeff Hewitt? Uh, no. Well, we just talked about him. He's a libertarian. We're getting to the good ones here. Well, I mean, because, like, look, here's the thing. No, I, we, we're the only ones who read these. I don't think anybody else did. Nobody else going to listen to us. going to read them. No, they get their information off social media. Angeline. Well, they do, and then they go on Facebook and talk about all this stuff. Angeline, the billboard queen from L.A. She's oh, an I icon, oh, yeah. an experienced politician, because yeah. she ran for governor last time uh-huh. with uh, Schwarzenegger and actually got like 2,700 votes. She finished like number 20-something or 30-something out of 140 candidates, which <laughs> means she has a chance. Mm, okay. Larry A. Elder. So going back to what you said a little bit earlier, which was my thoughts on the recall where there's no way he's getting voted out, oh. Newsom, uh, because when everybody was like, Caitlyn Jenner's got a chance. I'm like, no, I really don't think so. Uh, hello, Trump was our president. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 but yeah, it, there, so there was, but also I was kind of disheartened because I was not excited about the, the idea. Mm-hmm. And most of the candidates, I mean, like John Cox, I I don't know if he's even in here, but he has that stupid fucking commercial where he ends it with like, does a bear shit in the woods? Like mm-hmm. it's dumb. Like he, and he's playing to that Trump personality where it's like, dude, now you're, just, you're treating us, we look like idiots. Like, stop, don't do that shit. Larry Elder. When I heard he was jumping into this, I actually was very excited with that. I like Larry Elder. But did you know Larry Elder prior to? Yes. How? From YouTube. From uh, like you just looked up, you said one day. Nope. I'm so look up Larry Elder. I went down a rabbit hole a few years back. <laughs> it started with uh, um, Friedman. <laughs> You're still not out of that rabbit hole. No, by the I'm way. I'm going deep. Uh, who? It started with who? God dang it! You made me forget his name. He was a he's an economist. He was in yeah. I don't remember his first name. Anyways, that led me to Thomas Sowell, who was a student of his. And also an economist from Harlem who ended up in UCLA, pretty renowned, um, had some great ideas. Actually, was what led me into believing I might actually be a libertarian was because of these guys' ideas. And watching these old PBS clips from these guys like in the 80s having these debates and stuff. So I learned from who Larry Elder was because Larry Elder was a big oh. fan of Thomas Saul. Had Thomas Saul on. They had done interviews together and talks together. And basically found out who this guy was. And also during the Trump presidency, or the candidacy at least, that, that running in 2016, um, ended up becoming much more popular because he was a black Republican who wasn't necessarily siding with the progressive 
black vote the way everybody felt that he should. So it made him rather popular mm. in that regard. I, s- I saw an article, like a, a I mean, clickbait yeah. and, and for, for it all, and it said uh, that he was the face, the new face of white supremacy. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. That's the kind of shit that they'll do. Yeah, and I, it was... <laughs> Yeah, it's it doesn't make sense. That's all. I mean, it's funny. It's it's funny because it just seems so. It seems like a joke. It just right. seems like a joke. I'm like, this doesn't even seem real. Right now, this guy's from California, born and raised in California. They call him the Sage of South South Central. Like, Sage of South Central. Yeah, like he's got a radio show, syndicated radio show. Um, he's still a big part of the community. Now, that's the parts that that those are the things that I like about him. Do I actually think that? You know, there'll be a difference. I think there'll be a subtle difference. You got somebody that may, hopefully, it, it's somebody that does go in and say, like, hey, this high-speed rail thing is fucking bull. Like, pull the fucking plug. Stop it. Yeah. Stop it now. Yeah. Like, you know, let's turn those things into, like, uh, hotels right on the side of the highway or something. You know, the pillars that they put up. I like, would love, though, a real, a real train that actually ran like that. Awesome. It would be awesome, but we've been promised that for over 10 years now. I know, but I'm just saying it would be awesome. Yeah, the thought of it's beautiful. Yeah. Continue to think about it, and we just don't spend any money on it. That oh, seems reasonable. Train, Whatever, bud. Get on your damn video game. Same damn thing. Okay, so what do you like about Larry Elder? I just I went over it. Oh, I wasn't listening. At all. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to figure out what I like about Larry Elder. I well, mean, a community man. That's what he said. Pretty so much. So I'm, like I'm reading through this, this. and he has, yeah, no, and I he agree. has his logic and his reason is seems to be that of of the way that I feel about things. So, so just to touch the on dog some is of <laughs> oh, poor <laughs> Arthur. So some of the things that I the things that stand out to me are, um. Stopping California. Okay, so this is a little bit play on words. Like it's kind of corny, whatever. But stopping California's war on the middle class demands re- reducing the regulations, driving up the housing costs, and sending jobs out to other states. I do think the middle class is going to be non-existent pretty soon if we continue on with the governor that we have. Like in we California, in California yeah. for sure. Um, well, it, it'll be a very high-paid middle class, which is not like I don't, I don't know. Well, because I it'll I it'll be it'll be strictly. Rich no, and poor. I get it. I get what you're saying, but what I'm saying is it doesn't make sense to me that that's what his voters want. Like, how do they not see that that's where this is going with him? Oh. Uh, you know what I mean? Well, like because those that aren't on the the high end, you know, of income are basically looking at, oh, but I'm going to get money thrown my way and be taken care of anyways. Uh, I don't, I mean, that just doesn't sound like that's not logical. It doesn't sound, no, neither does fucking raising gas prices okay. and gas tax, but we do that. So, um, okay, I liked that one. I like that he says he'll expand charter schools and crusade for school choice. Yep. Igniting competition to deliver excellence in K-12 education. Yes, like, yes, that needs to be done. Um. But see, okay, I and I get what you're saying. Like, we can go through all the things that he's saying that we like. Do you think those things are possible or that he would make those things happen? Uh, That's the know. real question. Because okay. we can take all the broken promises all day long. Yeah, it's true. And when I sit, like, when I, here's what I will say. I like what he's saying. Do I, would I be surprised if he didn't do it? No, because he's a politician. Politicians don't give shit. Mm-hmm. They sit in, they sit and Capitol Hill, and they're just like, give me the money. It shouldn't be a career. That's the problem. The, the civil servant aspect is gone because it's it's a career. Yeah. You know, you're, you're, you're serving your own personal needs. I'm voting for Dan Kapalovitz because <laughs> he's got these really cool glasses on. Well, oh wait, hold on. And it says, can you dig it? Oh, <laughs> it's so good. But and Dan, I can dig it. You're not going to get any votes like that. I think that you would like Jeremy Marciniak. No. Search YouTube. That's your jam. That's what he says. Search YouTube. Yeah, I know. And I did. <laughs> and it did not impress. And as soon as I looked at it, I was like, dude, he's like, he's like us. The only people watching are us. <laughs> He's in the same oh, boat. We That's could so only funny. hope. I had to we like hit, I had to close hope. out of it real quick so okay. it didn't count as a fucking view. <laughs> okay, so that ad revenue. I left him a comment. It was like, "Hey, check out my po- my podcast, bro. <laughs> Drop your link." <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> I dropped your name. Okay, so I know we haven't talked much about this ge- guy, but Kevin Kiley. Ugh. He's another, like, I see him all over Facebook. Um, God, I miss Connor. Uh-oh. Don't, don't touch mine. I'm touching mine. Okay, so anyways, <laughs> what do you think? What are your, have you, hi, hi, hi. I also like you this guys, guy. I'm a mandated reporter. This is this is a guy that Lucas used to know from his Okay, days you're in not going to answer my question North about Hollywood. Kevin Kiley. His name is Sway. He's Chauncey like, oh. Slim Killens. Oh, it's Sway. That was the guy's name, Sway. huh? I thought this was the guy that he used. <laughs> no. Okay. But he says, vote for me, the people's governor. All caps on the first letter of the word, which is pretty badass. He lives in uh, Monterey. Lost you. I listened to a podcast with him. It was actually pretty good. Anyways, Kevin Kiley. Kevin Kiley became famous because of... I knew he had something to say about one it. Because I, I already knew I already knew who this slap dick is. He's already <laughs> a senator in the, state, in the state Senate, right? Yeah. Anyways... He was part of one. Of, he was one of the two guys that had that spearheaded the um, the one of the um, lawsuits. lawsuits against Newsom, mm-hmm. and that's the only reason why everybody knows who this guy is or think that he thinks that he's a hero. He accomplished nothing. They they found that that he was correct. It and whatever it was that they they finally got Newsom on, which was that oh you can't create any more mandates on your own and not have them go through the Senate. But we're also not going to recall or take back anything that you've already fucking passed. Well, that's not a fucking win. He can't make any more. It's like, he's made them all. (laughs) (laughs) So Kevin Kiley came up short. Patrick Kilpatrick. Real name or fake name. (laughs) It doesn't even look like a real person. That's because he's not. What's his name again? Patrick Kilpatrick. Patrick Kilpatrick. It's like a joke on, I don't know. That's like, it seems like it. Well, it's like Neil Patrick Harris or something. Like okay, this is exactly. Kind of so here's the deal. No offense to any of my friends. Take a, life. take a guess at what his profession is. Um, he's from California. Oh, I was gonna spill. Name is okay, Patrick Kilpatrick. What do you think he does? He is a uh, an extra. <laughs> he's a backer. well, at least Pretty that. Much. he's an actor. Yeah. He lists a bunch of film creds I would on say this. He's an this extra. is that I am. DB fucking slot is what it is. Oh. Look, like, as nobody much cares. as I enjoy our entertainment and like what Hollywood once was, yeah. maybe I don't know because there's a lot of shit coming out about Hollywood that is not good. Not like the good. kid touching. <laughs> yeah, it's been coming out for a while. Yeah, well, it's for a while I've been on the fence about it. So when he You've starts, been okay with it? <laughs> I've been on the fence about oh. it about Hollywood, not not the. Oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> that timing. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Denver Anyways. Stoner is that a real name? <laughs> is that a real name? Denver Stoner? Yes. Real no. or fake? No, I mean there's well, not no picture. There's no picture, but there's a name, and he's a Republican, and he is running for governor. Denver Stoner. Denver Stoner. Well, I mean, I knew someone named Stoner. Yeah, but just it's such a funny thing they call Denver. Denver. This is a there is a serious lack of moral character. Okay, and I'm just gonna say something. I'm just gonna point something out here. As a Christian, this is the reason why I'll not vote for this guy. Which one? As a con- this is what he says. Denver Stoner, no oh. picture. I wouldn't put a picture either with this. But anyways, as a conservative mm. Christian who is pro God, pro life, pro family, pro gun, pro liberty, and pro law enforcement, I believe I can carry out the God given duty of governor. As a Christian, that is why I will not vote for him. It's not a God given duty. <laughs> well, yeah. it's it's not very Christian like either. Is it also in the Bible? <laughs> Moving on. I'm just okay. saying. I was just giving my opinion I as a Christian. Know. I don't I don't know. Maybe maybe it's in Ephesians. Maybe it's at the end. Mm. Revelations. I haven't read that part yet. <laughs> Jenny Ray LaRue. Have you? Uh Revelations. It's a good song by Audio Slave. No, have you read that part? Revelations? Or the part about the God given yeah. position of California governor? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's in there. <laughs> He's one of the four horsemen. Mm, <laughs> okay. Going on. He's the fifth one. Pestilence? His name is Pestilence? Clyde. <laughs> Death Pestilence. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Sloth. Moving is that one of them? On. <laughs> 
Jenny Ray LaRue. That I would only vote for her just because of her name. She's like a <clears throat> like a, B, a PBS type of uh, TV show. She looks kind of young too. Um, and again, another big write up. Wasn't really reading it. Um, you Michael more, you think Loeb's. Younger, you think younger people should be um, running for these positions more than older people? Um, you know what? When I was younger, I used to think like, what, "What's the problem with young people? You stupid old people! Like we know how to do things." It seems like there's a few people that are pretty young that are running for um, bigger spots now. So yeah, and then like the older I get, I'm kind of like, uh, like I know I ain't got my shit figured out, and I'm like, there's no way that person got their shit figured out. Yeah, well, maybe I they just have newer ideas. I just think that with life experience, you're you're you change. You know what I mean? When you're when you're young, like when you're in your twenties, you don't you don't have very much life experience. Some mm-hmm. some people do, but speaking of not too many. John R. Drake. I'm sorry, I jumped up ahead. Yeah, I know. Because there, there's some of these people I don't are just know why not I'm interesting. On your show, you didn't. You don't. Really I told you to we're going to skim through these. Okay, talk <laughs> oh. about John R. Drake. What do you think about this? Well, we didn't even go through like all these. Let's other read ones. Adam Papagans. Go ahead, read it. Love you. <laughs> that's all it says. <laughs> Homeboy. Homeboy's hey, uh, that's a barber. better Christian statement than his barber. And his barber guy. is God. Stop it. Look at his haircut. Denver stoner. Yeah, I know. I don't understand. How do you, do they have time to, how much time do they have to write these things? Uh, not long. Uh, he was. I'm just going to gonna say, name. if you're going to run for governor your whole freaking life, you should have been working on this shit. I feel you would have, yeah, made at least a better statement than I love you or check my YouTube. Not even I love you. Just love you. Love you. Yeah, that's the worst. That's one of love the worst. Love yeah. you. That's that's someone who's half-assing, <laughs> half-assing a job of saying I love you. He's like, these dumbasses will vote for me. Oh. He's also an actor. TikTok, I Adam for nice. governor. I looked him up. Mm. And what'd you find out? He's an actor. Okay. He's like a, he's. I don't know. He does some other stuff. The uh, Dell talk show. What's another one that you that you've seen, Janie? Someone else. Uh, talking about John. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about young people. Talk yeah. Okay. John. Fine. We'll go on to John. That's it. But no, there's oh, one more. Oh well, guy in the actually, back. so there's a guy. There's a guy on here that I've been seeing mm-hmm. that is not on here. Yeah, there's actually a few that aren't listed on this. Yeah. That they might be in the list right here in the front. Oh, let's see if he's on the front. Okay, while well you're looking okay, for him, okay, I'm going to talk about John. We were talking about young people. John R. Drake is... Drake? Drake is actually going? Yeah. He's <laughs> he's uh, mm-hmm. 14 years old, <laughs> getting ready to start his first year of high school. Is John he, is a... Dude, he, he is... Does he really want to play basketball? He's a kid. But he can't? Yeah. he's in a wheelchair? He says, I can't make it. <laughs> Degrassi. Yeah. <laughs> John is a recent community college graduate with a degree in political science, which makes him qualified. Oh, John his Cox is on this. His continuing educational page. focus is government and policy making. Who? Uh, why are you going to school for that? Bro, learn how to swing a hammer. Daniel Watts. I like what this guy has to say. Has to say. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an S at the end of his name. I should put it at the end of everything. Imagines a California's with free public colleges that respect free speech, protect constitutional rights, and higher education. Vote Watts for governor.com. Maybe that's where all this money comes from, is that these guys have to... Does it cost money to put your name into this shit? Uh, I, I, think I think you have I to get so. like uh, signatures saying that people would vote for you. You have to get enough signatures and... I don't know. Maybe that's where all that money comes from. These assholes are wasting our time. Yeah. Sending their orders to Jocelyn so they can. Okay. I'm going to do, I'm going to take, a, I'm going to, just to be fair. You're going to throw a dart and vote for that person? No. Uh, no. Oh. I'm going to read, I'm going to read through here and I'm going to pick out one of the Democrats and I'm going to pick out something that I like out of theirs. Ooh. Just for fun. Being grateful. <laughs> I, I think <laughs> gracious. Oh, wait, this Races. is Patrick yeah. Kilpatrick. Okay, we're going to skip him because we know he's a dead. Um, you're, already, you're already capping on people before you're even you're supposed to going towards it, like being. Well, Patrick Kilpatrick, he's a dead. I'm giving somebody else a. Okay, let's do a. F- she's a female. Jacqueline McGowan. Do we have to do this? Uh. Why not? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let me see. 
<laughs> she's number one. She's a number skirt. one in your book. She's a California native. Wait, like native what? As a California American? native. Oh, she's not Indian. She's a, is she it appropriating doesn't say. A, a native uh, term? I it just says she's I a California native. I mean, we could take that to a... Uh, like, is she really a California native? No, yeah. native. Well, it, it's always I like, know. where in California native like, are like you? Like, you were just this born here. It's a big ass here. state. Well, it's like, I, was, I lived in OC my whole life. Or something like that. And it's well, just OC like, is a little bit like then, the valley. Yeah, it is, but then compared to like, I've lived in Stockton my whole life. Or, or I like lived that. in Redding. Or I lived in Redding. Or I've lived, you know. I've in Monterey. Yeah. I lived in Santa Barbara. I lived in L.A. I live in San Diego. Those are all very different places. Oh, oh, oh. This is interesting. This is interesting. I'll have you guys know. Okay. Wait, does it does it have a picture of her? No, no photograph. She's not real. <laughs> so it says, as a California native, and it oh, you gotta let me get through this, okay? And an 18-year Wall Street veteran with seven years of experience as a cannabis consultant. I read oh. this one. Oh, and what'd you think? She wants to she says that California fucked up weed legalizing it and she's going to do it right she, the whole write-up is about weed basically okay what i do like so far i'm kind of liking what i hear about her <laughs> well i'm kind of liking it you don't even smoke weed well the thing is look how so much, what? Look, how much <laughs> look how much money that denver denver created denver stoner well denver itself yeah how much money they created from like doing like how they did it and like you see the construction that's going on there they're like that city is blowing up is this somebody's brother-in-law has a tractor yeah most likely yeah, that's cool okay Moving it's on. It's all Willie's. Willie owns it all. <coughs> Willie? Willie Nelson. Denver? He has, yeah, the Willie Reserve. Oh. You know what the Willie Reserve? Oh. So it's like Tyson's got big old, Mike Tyson has big old weed ranch here in California. Oh, in California? Yeah, Mike giant Tyson ass one. does? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyways, she is intimately being familiar with being an advocate cannabis supporter, you were politics, not in the know. as usual, has botched in the rollout of the regulated cannabis market. Needed jobs and tax revenues from small businesses are slipping out of grasp, and the time to act is now. Yes, Jackie, you're right. But she's talking solely about cannabis um, revenues. Well, it doesn't say that. It says small it businesses. No, that's what she was saying. Read the, okay. the line before that. Hold she's on. talking about it. She says, California, we drop can, the ball. and I will. Facil- okay, so you're right. She's talking about cannabis. But anyways, if she's talking about cannabis, she can really, it can talking apply about to any other small business thing. Yeah. Still talking about I weed. cannot stand by while small business owners who are my colleagues and your neighbors suffer, leading to suicides while promises are unkept and illicit market thrives. I don't care if she's talking about just cannabis. It's only it, weed. That's all she's talking she's about. Ta- but it doesn't matter. If she's talking about cannabis, she's going to do stuff for other small it's businesses. A, it's too. a metaphor for the big picture. Is that what you're saying? You are giving the benefit of the doubt. I am. I'm. T- I'm trying to be positive about I like what I like her. That's what she's talking about. I like her. She's I like finding her. the one thing that Listen, she's like. Listen, we thing thing know why you're okay with it. <laughs> uh, you still trying to find some good in a Democrat? In there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> good luck finding it in the Republicans too. Okay, so here's the deal. Instead of sitting here while you read that, <laughs> would you share who? You're gonna vote for, or you're gonna no. keep it classy uh, and hello? keep that to yourself. No, that's private information, just like my medical record. I asshole. like it. Uh, what? Oh wait, gosh, my medical records aren't confidential anymore, are they? Nope. Mm. No. Anyways. No, but I think that's but I'm the classy. Still not gonna share it. I think that's the classy thing to do, is to not share it. Just sharing information, opinions about the dum dums out there. Okay, I am gonna give. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give Brandon M. Ross a shout out. Democratic. Democratic. Candidate. Shout out to Ross. We're trying super mm-hmm. hard. Yeah. <laughs> no, what I about am. the guy that talks about his kindergartner? His kid mm, his kindergarten? Oh, he, he this guy, he Brandon M. Ross is well, a I thought he had like one kid that wasn't his. He has like an like anecdotal <laughs> story <laughs> in here about how like a kindergartner was like oh, heartbroken yeah. about something and basically that's why yeah. you should vote for him because he supports yeah. Teachers and education. And no sad kids. It was weird. Yeah, it was that's like, kind of what it make, was. It doesn't make any sense. The kid is having a hard testing, time with this. Testing. I hear I'm you. Off. I can't hear you. Oh, I, I hear can't you. hear myself. Oh. I mean, I can. But I hear. Okay, good. Okay, so anyways, going back to Brandon Imros. Shout out. He is a don't, recovering don't. addict. Oh, yeah. That and sense. he says he at, ho- at least hopes to be an inspiration to addicts and other families that addiction can be overcome. Good for you. I, yep. I read this one to you the other day, and you didn't want to listen to it. You would have already known about him. 
had you listened to me. I didn't know about any of these people prior to tonight. <laughs> You're the resident. I also I also wrote in Yeezy as my. Did you actually write Yeezy though? Mm, no, that's I confidential. Did. I put Yeezy. Your vote doesn't even count, dummy. <laughs> I know. They're going to toss your ballot now. That's all right. You're wasting taxpayers' money. Free just postage. like our governor. You probably mm-hmm. waste your own money, too. I do. It is. <laughs> I was like, that. Yeah, we're wasting everybody's money. Vote, people. You got to vote. Or don't. Or don't. Or don't. <laughs> it's like, or don't. I say that we just, like, <laughs> just don't give a shit about our governor or our politicians anymore. We don't. I do. No, Nobody some does. of us still do. No, some of us still do because some of us still need to be told what to do. I don't think anybody really cares. Some of really us still cares. need to be told what to do. I think people like to get on social media and blast their opinions. That's how much they care about it. Whether it's positive or negative about our leaders, they just want to run their mouth. What are we doing right now, really? <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> that's really what it is. It's like we just need a talking point. Uh, my point is, yes, vote. We need to vote. You should vote every fucking time, and you should educate yourself. More importantly, you should educate yourself about what you're voting on. Otherwise, here's another thing. I it's agree. Not you're like vote. Do it's, it right. It's not like standardized testing. You can leave the shit blank. Like, if you literally just want to go and vote for the president, go vote every four years and vote just for the president. You can leave the other shit blank. You don't have to vote on a measure or just go, I'm going to put yes on everything. Because you're fucking it up when you do that kind of dumb, dumb thing. Educate yourself or don't fucking vote. Know why you're voting for something. That's what I think. Jesus didn't come to save the righteous. Uh-uh. Exactly. But I thought everybody needs saving. Everybody. Even the righteous. But he didn't come for them. Now it's fucking contradicting. Now I don't even know what to think. Oh my God, you're so confused. <laughs> <laughs> Vote, motherfuckers. We want we we paid people to get their COVID vaccination. We give them coupons too. Five people. You didn't know this? Yeah. Oh, oh you didn't know this. I did. That's we why I got my shot. I got it entered in the <laughs> lotto. We should give. Um, Is that off? We should give Your cannabis. Dying. You're dying. To phone, people phone as phone. An well, when I said vote. vote, motherfuckers, was a great time to stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's when your editing does. You act like this is all about you. Lucas and I aren't even here. Why are? Why did we even come on this show? I don't know why I asked either. <laughs> I don't know why. I Connor agree. will be back next time, <laughs> folks. <laughs> thank goodness. I like. That. I left. I ended it with thank goodness. <laughs> Perfect.